Seven seconds and three lines from 1992 are suddenly a major talking point. The president's cameo in Home Alone 2, where he gives directions to a young Kevin McAllister, was cut from a TV version of the Christmas movie airing in Canada. The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation says it was all part of a routine edit made in 2014. But as seen as Pamela Brown reports from the White House, the facts aren't stopping the president's supporters from claiming a case of anti-Trump bias. Excuse me, where's the lobby? For a ratings-obsessed president, conscious of every television appearance, no matter how small, these seven seconds are now putting Home Alone 2 at the center of a Christmas conspiracy controversy involving President Trump. Down the hall and to the left. After the president said he was honored to make a cameo appearance in the movie during a video conference with U.S. troops just before Christmas. It's been a good movie and uh, I was a little bit younger. To put it mildly, and it was uh, it was an honor to do it, and it turned out to be a very big hit. Obviously, it's a it's a big Christmas hit, one of the biggest. The movie aired on the CBC later that day without that seven-second scene, something Trump supporters quickly took notice of. With Fox News even claiming anti-Trump censorship was the reason the scene was edited out. Whatever but how was, bad is your Trump derangement <laughs> syndrome for you to cut that out of a happy yeah. movie? And after that segment aired on the president's favorite channel, he pounced on Twitter, claiming it was edited out as revenge by Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, tweeting, I guess Justin T doesn't much like my making him pay up on NATO or trade. But here are the facts. Even before Trump launched his presidential bid, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation made the edits to Home Alone 2 Lost in New York to get the movie under two hours. In 2014, multiple scenes were edited out, including then-private citizen Donald Trump's seven-second cameo, according to a statement from the CBC. Justin Trudeau wasn't even prime minister in 2014 and doesn't control how the CBC would edit a movie. But President Trump didn't miss an opportunity to get in on the joke. From his winter White House in Florida, Mar-a-Lago, for the holidays, he seemed to make light of the missing cameo, tweeting, the movie will never be the same. Just kidding. And CNN reached out to Trudeau's office about the president's claims, and Trudeau's spokesperson declined to comment. I guess no surprise there. Erica? No, not really, Pam. Thank you. Pamela Brown live at the White House for us on that one. What's remarkable is hours after the CBC confirmed that, as Pam laid out there, the edits were made in 2014. It was one of several scenes that were cut to fit the two-hour airtime. This is what the conversation was last night on Fox Business. Just take a listen. We're having this conversation, but we're fulfilling a stereotype with this narrative because this was deleted five years ago, along with many, many other scenes prior to him being president. And I think that's important because we, we shouldn't be making yeah. this a big deal. But, like, but, they, they cut it out. Who but cares? Christina, seconds. you got to Christina, you got to admit, I mean, it, it would make sense in Canada. Look, a lot of Canadians have, as you know, a very unfavorable. Uh, uh, but they didn't back in 2014. Of Trump. Did they? But, don't let the facts get in the way there, huh? I mean, Philip, as you look at that, what's remarkable is the Fox reporter on that panel, she's trying so hard to say, right. can we just look at the facts and what happened here and not try to fit some crazy conspiracy narrative? Right. And they're having none of it. Right. It's remarkable. And yet, yeah. it's not. <laughs> and yet it's not, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what I was gonna, I was gonna say two things. The first is that Home Alone 2 is not a Christmas classic. The second thing I'm gonna say is that this is how it works. The way it works is Donald Trump powers his politics on aggrievement. And any incident of aggrievement, however real, is seized upon by his base and his supporters, including those at Fox News. Fox News amplifies things that they see in social media. Fox News pushes it out there. Other people see it. It spreads outward from there. It goes to the president. It goes to his Twitter feed. This is how it works. This is the cycle. This is why he's president of the United States. Not because of Home Alone 2 specifically, which again is not a Christmas classic, mm -hmm. but because <laughs> this cycle exists and he is powered by it. You know what's remarkable about, about that too is that Donald Trump Jr., right? So the president, is, as we saw, seemed to be having a little bit of fun with it. But Donald Trump Jr. called it absolutely pathetic. And part of a lengthy post on Instagram reads, in part, Imagine being so triggered that you can't leave a Christmas movie alone without editing. This is what we're up against in 2020. This is the filter by which people receive their news. This is why it's not a fair fight. But this is also why we will win. Jane, the hypocrisy is glaring. He's relying on a lie, a false story to gin up his base. But as you know, because you cover this so well, it works. 
I mean, I don't know if it does, though granted we're discussing it, so it has a, apparently a proven effective. I do think it's interesting that apparently Home Alone 2 is the source of news for people in Canada who cannot vote in American elections. And that's how Trump will win in 2020. The math here doesn't quite work out. But it's interesting because it is very much, you know, I think that this particular story is evidence of how it's the end of the year and we don't have as much to talk about. But I also think that there is a sense of, you know, you can see that Trump kind of found this amusing. But people around him are, are well aware that this is actually something that many people take very seriously because it's not about Home Alone 2. It's never about Home Alone 2. It's the idea that people don't feel as if their viewpoints are being taken seriously. They think that they're being taken advantage of and they think that their political beliefs are being treated unfairly. And when you see that in some places, sometimes you see it in Home Alone 2, which actually is a Christmas classic, to be clear. Oh, Ooh, that's a separate debate we're going to have to set up for next year, maybe, because we don't have time to tell. But, Joan, what I think is remarkable is I, I actually do think it's a legitimate story that, that for us to discuss because of what it shows us in just that this is a perfect example of something that is completely innocuous. It's Home Alone 2. Right. Now, you can debate whether it's a Christmas classic, but it's still, you know, it's a movie about Kevin McAllister. There's not a lot of controversy in it. But the fact that this was run with and promoted even hours after it was very clear what the real story was is an important discussion about where we're at in this country right. and how people are getting their information and how there is a refusal to look at facts. Well, Philip is exactly right that this is what they do. They peddle the lies. They go out with the lies. We debunk the lies. Mm -hmm. They keep telling the lies. It works with their base. Uh, Don, and it's just funny because Donald, J, Donald Trump Jr. is such a little baby that he's whining about this. He wrote a book called Triggered that, uh, that alleges that liberals are the ones who are obsessed with slights like this. But he's the one on a holiday who's, you know, going, going nuts about it. So that's just ironic. The funniest thing to me about this, and maybe other people knew this, but what, we, what I learned from this story is Trump demand, routinely demanded cameos from directors when if he let them use the Trump property. So this isn't the only time he did it. And, and I think that's a kind of early Trump corruption that, you know, should have told us more about him.